Okay, let's try this again. And by again, I mean, let's try this one last time. Okay, so. Uh... I'll let the cutscene play again. Hopefully nothing will go wrong this time. Welcome to my game. I'll be your host and humble narrator. The rules of this game are simple. Play it until the end and you'll be rewarded. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you, and a little bit for me. <laughs> oh, the sad part is today is the day she will die. Huh. I can hear you, you know. Oh, you can? Mm-hmm. Are you inside my head or something? Hmm. Well, okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'll call you Mr. Voice. O what did you say about me dying today? Die? No. Nobody said anything about anyone dying today. Huh. <laughs> Nobody said nothing? You know... I have prepared a game for you. A game? Really? For me? If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. Deal? Eternal happiness? I guess I could give that to my mommy. Okay, it's a deal. Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to play? Yes. Your first mission is to leave the house. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Hopefully this is working now. I pray it is. Apparently testing earlier on worked. Streaming a bit early earlier on that I had to cancel for reasons was working. Now it's my actual official streaming time. Things don't want to work. And I was in such a great mood because I got off the phone with Bestie like five minutes before I was meant to stream. So I got to see Little Man and talk to my best friend. I was in a fantastic mood and now it's just sapping all the life out of me. But for anyone who does watch me constantly on past streams on YouTube and hey kitten, I know you're there because you're awesome. Uh, yes, we've done the demo of this game. This is the first game to ever successfully pass the Bitty Boy um, demo and a game chill time test, which is I play the demo and I bought the game. A lot of other games have passed the test, I haven't bought the game yet. This is the first game where I bought the test. Um, I found this game on TikTok, it's cute, it's adorable, and oh my god, the actress for this character is just this character. 
So please, if you have TikTok, go check her thing out. I forgot to link a thing. But we will link a thing. What is that? What'd I do? Look, this is my secret hiding spot. We did not oh, find this last time. Impressive. But why do you need a hiding spot? I don't like it when mommy and daddy argue too much. Mm. And when I come here, I can dream and travel far away. I see. <laughs> No, it's not fire. <laughs> I just got you, man. <laughs> I think last time we played this, I did keyboard mode, but I'm doing mouse and keyboard now because. This, this is like... Babsy, the guardian of the secret spot. You see his eye? He got that from a battle against a monster. A monster? That sounds scary. It was. Uh, this seems like a perfect point and click game. And I do love point and click games. Like, they're one of my. Pa Gaming passions. This is my diary. Nobody is allowed to read it. Want to see? <laughs> That's adorable. It's my diary. No one's allowed it. Here, have a look. Oh, look at her. Oh, look. Her last name's Mish Misfortunate Ramirez Hernandez. She met a con. Hi, Annabelle. A long time no see. Hope you're okay. so cute. <laughs> Did you draw all this? Uh-huh. Oh, she's got her unicorn, her Mr. Rock, her boy. I like to play a lot with my toys. I like to talk to them because it's fun. I'm going to read the diary, the whole diary. Oh, you're doing really well for your Twitch. Thank you. Thank you so much. You were my first viewer all those long, long days ago where I did Alice. Hello diary. At school I drew and at home I was at my hiding spot talking to Bubsy and I heard it. I saw a fox walking outside my room. He's called Benjamin, I think. <laughs> Benjamin. Ugh, that fox. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll be fully honest with everyone. My heart melts every time she says Benjamin. So <laughs> I talk about that when I'm with my boyfriend sometimes. I know you do, but what your personality <laughs> that thing that we discussed before <laughs> hello diary my dad lied to me again not going out to the park today oh that's sad i made myself pretty but he doesn't care i feel sad i cried but told mommy i'm okay i'm afraid if i tell her i'm sad she'll be angry sometimes i don't know how to feel nobody's teaching me how to feel I wish in school they'd teach us where feelings come from, but for reals, no fairy tales. Oh, yikes forever. My heart is breaking. This really reminds me of when I used to be, yeah, yeah. So, so this is actually a child. <laughs> Benjamin. Hello diary, is it okay to have feelings for a fox? <laughs> they puke of love, that's what it is. I'm so toss my heart. I'm breaking. I'm melting. Benjamin the fox came to visit me when I was playing outside. And we looked at each other and my heart felt warm. And like if I was about to vomit, but in a good way, then he ran away because my mummy shouted that dinner time was ready. <laughs> Hello diary. My daddy hit mummy. Is that supposed to be normal? Should I hit people I love? It doesn't feel right. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like it when daddy hits mommy. <laughs> I don't know if I'm okay. I used to actually own a Pathfire when I was in my DD. I'd be saving people used to put in. Oh, that's not fair. It's a way for people to express how they feel. It's meant to be a safe space. You're not meant to say they'll make out of people for having it. I know many of people who have those phases and are those people and have that. I've been carers for many of people like that. It's fine. Maybe daddy can't see he's hurting me too when he hears mum. I promise I'll never be like my daddy. I played today that I took a plane to Japan and saw interesting things. I know about Japan because my friend is Japanese. He likes sushi. Sushi. Right, I'm going to shout out Sushi for this bit, um, if I remember his shout out. 
Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> if your name shows up in a game, I'll shout you out. That's like. I kind of cringe at my class, but at the same time, I kind of want to go back a bit. I don't know if my boyfriend would like it. You know, it's a part of you. Don't ever hide that. Even if you do cringe at it now, it was a part of you. You should accept it. You know. I, I know many of people who are married who have gone into that safe space. I've been there before myself. Once or twice. I do have that side. I just normally push it down so I can take care of others. My Japanese friend speaks Japanese. That's very problematic when we want to talk. It's hard to understand each other. It's confusing. But I like him. He has a pair of sweet boots and a cowboy hat. And his name is Hiro. And he's a ghost. I drew a him a picture, but I never gave it to him. He's awesome. That's Hira, my Japanese friend. He's a ghost. <laughs> she has a Japanese alien ghost as her friend. I, we're not even started the game. We just found the girl's diary. And we're just reading her diary. And I'm loving it. Glitter. I love my glitter. We are not the same here. I hate glitter. Hello, diary. Look, I have glitter from school. It's super shiny, and we use it to make Christmas cards. I think Christmas cards are pretty, but I don't believe in Santa is for reals. If a man could give everyone a gift, why can't he give poor people water and food? I saw a TV show with people from other countries having nothing to eat. He's a ghost. Just <laughs> he just said, I know, he's a Japanese alien ghost. <laughs> Like, I love the cute side, and I love a lot of, like, really kitty stuff, but I'm very, really paranoid if you can see it. See, then you still have that side, you're just hiding it because you're worried, which is, you know, never healthy or good. Um, but I do get the worry. It's, it's a hard side to express to people who don't understand it. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I do understand your worry. Uh, anyway, I don't believe Sana is real, but the glitter is amazing. It makes me think that all that makes me sad and angry can be sparkled with sparkle and look pretty yellow. That makes me a little less sad. How long is this girl's diary? Also, this is this is not this is not okay, right? We I, you shouldn't just read people's diaries. It's not okay, is it? Hello, diary. I went picking tomatoes with grandma. It smelled so nice. I saw butterflies and some other insects too. I ate two tomatoes and then I was stuffed. I made a real nice drawing there, you see? Yes, very nice. I did a coloring too. Impressive. Oh, my heart can't. I, I genuinely, my heart can't handle all this. Uh, I don't know. He cringes when he sees like a really bad version of it on YouTube. And he kind of you know, judgmental. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm super paranoid. Yeah, that's because a lot of the ones on YouTube they they don't express it properly. They like proper up it. Like it's not the actual real version of it. But I do get that because I have I have sides that I hide from people, and I also have friends who are like. They're, they have sides of themselves that they hide from their partners because they don't think the partners would accept it. But uh, where I'm someone who's never judged anyone, like you can just be anything, I won't judge you. I genuinely won't. I don't understand why people judge each other. It's okay to read it if she's showing it to you. Okay, okay, fair enough. Hello, diary. I was riding my tricycle and we don't have money for the bicycle. And I looked straight in the sun and I started crying because it hurt my eyes. And mommy said that one should not look directly at it. <laughs> How long is this diary? Are we going to start the game at any point? I wouldn't go as far as wearing a diaper though, but like the other stuff I really would like to get back in the season. Yeah, that's fair enough. You know your limits. You know what makes you feel safe and comfortable, and you also know your limits. That's fine. That's adult of you to explore those things, and you should have that space. Hello, diary. It was super fun today because I was at the lake and I saw birds flying and also fish in the water. I felt like warm water came near my bottom. I peed in the lake. It was really warm. <laughs> made me laugh. <laughs> She's right, you should not look directly at No, you shouldn't. Uh, hello, diary. How are you? I'm good too. I have to do homework, but I can't stop thinking about Benjamin. Fuck. Oh, we're at the end. Cool. 
I, I found a picture of me when I was younger. Time goes fast. That cake looks yummy. Look at that picture. I was such a baby. Very cute. Now I'm such a lady. I'm a little lady. That's what I am. Oh my god. I'm, oh my god. My heart. That was so adorable. I was just a baby. Now I'm a lady. Oh, I'm, I'm wrong. <laughs> I know this game gets bad. I know bad things happen to me. I don't want to leave. Halloween. Halloween costume ideas. Little lady fox. Lady fox. Oh. I love my coloring book. What to do with the coloring book? Take coloring book with you. Leave coloring book for Bobsy. <gasps> That's our first decision, guys. What should we do? I was never found a carer when I wasn't with my boyfriend. I was actively looking for one, but I never really found one because people would judge me like I was super scared of putting that stuff online and dating. So, yeah, that's, that's, I don't understand that because <sighs> littles hide it, but so do carers because we don't want to be judged either. But there are certain sites for it and all that. But obviously, you have a boyfriend now, so that's different. Uh, Biscuit error message. How many things can you take with you? I don't know. The game hasn't told me. This is our first choice. And also, I can't remember who Bubsy is. So, do we take the coloring book or not? This is one of those games where I do want to let you guys choose. Like, have an input and vote. My vote is... I don't know. <laughs> leave it. Okay. My vote... Okay, we'll leave it then. Because you're voting for the leave it. And I don't know what to do, so... We'll leave it. So that, well, I'll note this. Oh, you, you both said leave it. Okay, so we're leaving it. Nah, I'm just leaving it here. For Bubsy, you know, the teddy. Oh yeah, the Bubsy's the teddy. How did I forget that? You, the, uh, I, will, I have been told before from what I've seen, every choice you make in this game has consequences, even stuff like leaving the colouring book. <laughs> so we may have just made it so she dies or something, I don't know. <laughs> you would leave it if you were her or take it if you were her. Look, I drew this picture. It's the fox I see outside my window sometimes. I call him Benjamin. He's a really cute fox. Ugh, I don't care much for foxes. Benjamin. I do just love how she says Benjamin. Uh... I like to move my body. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's the music that goes on forever. I like to move it. Look, I made these paper dolls myself. This is Kimberly and this is Steven. They're on a trip fighting super evils. Glitter. Glitter. I saw a monster in here once. I showed it the finger and it never came back. This game is adorable now. I've seen footage of later. I swear there was a choice to take one of these, like you said, get and take the uniform. Because I swear last time we took the rock, but I don't see the choice now. Maybe it was when we went to the door? Was it when we tried to get Before you leave, ah. which toy do you choose to bring with you? Can't I take them both? No, you can only choose one. And remember, your choice is much more important okay, okay, we'll than take you think. Okay, I choose... I would fully choose stone, but you two said unicorn, so we're doing unicorn. I choose my soft and beautiful unicorn. Because I have a feeling. You can never go wrong with a magical unicorn. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have... And so you know, I like to sprinkle sparkle on things so they become fabulous. <laughs> Shut up! Hey, you, on the other side of the screen, 
Yeah. Remember I told you she was going to die today? Yeah. Let's keep that a secret between us, all right? I know what it is. Oh, Benjamin, that's out the window. <laughs> To the rock in the demo. I took the unicorn guy. It's calm. I will say this though. This guy is trying to kill us. So we could have used the rock as a weapon to defend ourselves. I don't think we can use the unicorn to defend ourselves. So. You may have just killed the child. But we took the unicorn. Uh. Grandma, she wears a diaper too. <laughs> you still wear a diaper? Nah, that was so last year. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know he's trying to kill you. Yes, we do know he's trying to kill her. He said it multiple times that he's gonna kill the child. I really like talking in a kiddie voice, to be honest. It's really weird because I'm 20. No, it's not weird. I know people who are like. 34 who have a little space and stuff like that, it's fine. Mommy likes to collect glasses. I broke a couple ones by running too fast. Did Mommy find out who did it? No, but I had a piece of glass in my foot for like five days. Ouchie. Oh, Pardon me. Oh, please don't fall down. Damn it, it's all broken now. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Please don't tell on me. Don't worry. You can trust me. Okay, thank you. Alright, so you think the weird ominous voice that doesn't like Benjamin the Fox is not going to kill us, he's just telling us we're going to die. You're way too trusting, kid. Hmm, maybe I could try to fix it. And if people talk, uh, if I talk like that in voice chat or that, and people say you've all, all seen your voice, yeah, that's because a lot of people are judgmental and don't understand that it comes from a space of where you want to feel safe. Uh, what do we do about the broken face? Do we try to fix it or do we live? I think we fixed it last time. And nothing bad happened. So I'm going to fix it. Like, I'm not letting you guys choose this one. I'm going to fix it. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. Because nothing bad happened when we fixed it last time, and I don't want something bad to happen for not fixing it this time. Just gotta remember <laughs> where would the pieces go. <laughs> yeah. I can fix a baby. Rotate these. This one goes here. What does this one go? It goes there. It goes here. Nah. There. And then the rose. I did it. <laughs> so proud of myself. Indeed. Look, that's me. Mommy told me I have to smile, even when I'm sad. Oh god. I'm getting emotional, by the way. Like, if I go quiet, it's good. My daddy's friend was a hunter and killed this moose. His daughter, Erica, she thought his gun was a toy. She said bang bang to her mommy and daddy. Then her parents died, and she was so sad. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about that. Erica killed her parents. Ooh. I remember we have to sparkle the food. Ugh. It smells like cigarettes in here. Yeah, that's my mommy. She also likes to drink juice a lot. <laughs> well, are you ready to complete your first mission? Yes, I am. I'm gonna get that prize. Oh, dead rabbits again? When will Daddy learn I like them alive? Oh, it's 
buckles. Oh, we got a sticker. <laughs> what was all this? What was all this? I don't know what we just did, but it was a door. Mommy, this smells really bad. What is it? Dead animal. That's what it is. Yikes forever. I'm gonna start saying that. I'm gonna just start saying yikes forever. Yay! Happiness to the soup! <laughs> I have a feeling that's gonna come into play later. We oh. had a lovely dinner last night. Mommy wasn't that drunk and daddy actually said hi to me. It shouldn't be lovely because her dad just said hi to her. Oh. <laughs> I guess this is how she sees the world. When I grow up, I want to be just like my mommy. A juice drinker. No, I don't drink juice. Still, Miss Fortune. That's today. <laughs> Why was that so cute? That's today. Now, do we tell mommy we're leaving or not? Adult juice. Do we tell mommy we're leaving? No, okay, we're not gonna tell mommy we're leaving. Okay. We go quiet, okay? Good day, morning. It's afternoon, Miss Fortune. Ah, okay. Good afternoon, morning. <laughs> She's too cute. Good afternoon, morning. She's way too cute. <laughs> I hope you can't hear the mouth. I'm sorry if you can. I, I hope you can't. Remember Benjamin the Fox? Yeah. This is where I first saw him. He was hiding in the trash and we made eye contact. It was really intense. Yes, you told me about that fox already. You shouldn't trust a fox. What? A fox criminal? <laughs> That's silly. I said I hope you can't hear the mouse when I click. Uh. This pool smells like a toilet. <laughs> because I pee on it. <laughs> that is disgusting. Not as disgusting as when my daddy puked in it. That was disgusting. <laughs> I think I said this before, but this is the game developer's logo. I don't think they've developed anything else yet. This is where daddy often sleeps. Daddy? I don't think he's in there. I saw Sparkle, so I think we'll do this. Sweet animals. I remember last time we walked across the road. So, I... before we continue, you need to know the rules of the game, Miss Fortune. All right. Remember, you will be given choices on your journey. Okay, choices. There is no right or wrong, only consequences. Okay, okay, only consequences. When you beat the game. The prize of eternal happiness is yours. I'm ready. Your next mission is to cross this road. All right, I can do that. Look to the left, look to the right. Any course? No. Okay, I'm going. Good road safety. I also say I remember last time in the demo when we crossed the road, an evil pentagon came up. Uh, like that. <laughs> I saw a monster! What monster? I didn't see anything. It was there. I saw it. It's probably just your imagination. Yeah, that's true. I have a very big one. Just keep going. We'll have so much fun. Alright. <laughs> and then the demo ended here. So we get to play. Oh look, the birds died. But clearly the monster was real. Look. 
a sleepy bird. Come on, Miss Fortune. Let's go now. Oh. Sparkle. <laughs> Yikes, forever. a lot of sparkle back there. Anyway, where are we? Oh, so that would happen. <laughs> that actually will happen, okay. Oh, look at the look, puppy. There's a puppy. Hello, puppy. What a cute party hat. Now focus, Miss Fortune. You have to make a very difficult choice regarding this puppy now. Be aware of the consequences. All right. What do we do with the puppy? Do we set it free or do we play with it? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I will play with it so we can share a nice time together. Good choice. Now throw the ball at it. What ball? This ball. Ah, that ball. Okay. <laughs> oh. Ouch. <laughs> Puppy! What did I do? It's all broken now. Mr. Voice, everything I touch breaks. What's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. Sometimes life is just unfair. But I'm here for you. Really? Thank you. Well, sadly, the puppy will miss the party now. What party? The owner of this dog, George, is having a party. I think you have to go and tell him about the accident. What accident? Ah, uh, yes, the puppy, yes. Let's go. It's just a bit farther ahead. All right. You killed a puppy, girl. You killed a puppy. I'm sorry I broke you, puppy. I really am. Maybe we can play later. You know, when I'm broken too. Eat a cock. Oh, God. I'll take the party hat as a symbol of our friendship, puppy doggy. Oh, this is heartbreaking. <laughs> I'm not gonna be okay at the end of this. I know I'm not. <laughs> oh, the doggy poop. It says no dogs allowed. Oh, really? Oh no, I step on doggy do. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, sweet. I can see my footprint. <laughs> Mood went 180 there. She threw up and it went, oh, sweet. I can see my footprint. Let's see what came out. I see a lot of glitter and... Is that rice pudding? <laughs> I can't watch this anymore. Please, let's keep moving. Uh, if I set it free, it could have run in the road, but... You, you killed it. You said play ball. 
Well, then you forget that. Also, she shouldn't be eating glitter. No, 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 no. That sign doesn't work. Do you see all the crap lying around? Mm, that's a good observation, Miss Fortune. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you suspecting pet? Okay. So, Miss Fortune. At the other side of this lake, you will be one step closer to the prize of eternal happiness. And the party, right? Ah, yes. That too. Well, this, I guess that shows what this game's really like. You know, once at this lake, I got my head stuck in a plastic bag. I remember falling asleep and waking up in the hospital. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah. I almost died. We need to save this girl from her parents. I don't... I... The fuck? <laughs> she looks uh, so dumb. What's happening? I think you're in big trouble, Miss Fortune. Yeah, tell me about it. Where are these birds taking me? I have no idea, but you have to do something about it, fast. How to break loose from the birds, kick them in the balls, throw glitter at the birds. Uh, I don't think birds have balls, so I'm gonna throw glitter. Okay, my glitter is shiny. So if I throw glitter at the birds, they will only see shiny. And they will get confused and leave me alone. That sounds like a solid plan, Miss Fortune. Alright, here I go. She looked so done with life at that moment. <laughs> this is taking a long time. <laughs> we didn't even go that high up. Well, time seems to slow down when we are in danger. Am I in danger? Hey, look, a birdie. Hello, birdie. <laughs> oh, that was a rude bird. <laughs> that was a rude bird. A finger bird. Why didn't I break my legs and die? Uh, you seem very good at falling. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, so, Mr. Boys. Is the party on the same way to the eternal happiness? Yes. Yes, it is. Ah, oh, that's convenient. Have you thought about how to break the news to George? About the puppy? Yes. I mean, if you want to. Ooh. One sec. I like the fact she just accepted death. She's like, why didn't I die? Two, do we tell George? Do we tell George that Kitten killed his puppy? Or do we not? Oh, do we? I say we should tell him, but then again, does he need to know? Does he? Also, this view makes me want to watch play this game with 3D glasses. Hey, hey, it's not an answer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say we tell him. Unless you, unless you don't want, do you want me to cover it up? You did it. Do you want me to cover it up? Cover up your. Your heinous ass. I'm sorry, I'm mucking about, by the way. I'm genuinely mucking about. <laughs> I knew what was going to happen. I'd seen the puppy bit already. That's why I let you choose. <laughs> I'll say we're going to tell him. I'll say we're going to tell him. Yes, of course. That's the least I can do for the sweet puppy. That is very brave of you, Miss Fortune. Thank you. Oh, dead fish. Oh, look, a boat. Hello. Are we there yet? Just a little bit farther away. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, uh, a fish. What should we do about it? What should we do about the fish? Release it, bring it with you. If we bring it with us, it's gonna die. So, maybe release it? Oh. 
I guess I can play this game again with all the other choices. I'd say my first instinct would be to kick the fish back in the lake, so we're gonna release it. I would like to return it. It smells fishy. Bye bye, fishy fishy. Then again, this lake doesn't look good for fish, so I don't know. We will live with our consequences. Oh, the game is saving so much. <laughs> and here we are, the house of George. I'm a bit nervous about introducing myself. You'll do fine. You're brave telling the truth about the puppy. <laughs> Stop it. I'm doing it for the puppy, you know. <laughs> oh, that poor, poor puppy. Oh, George's fish is also dead. That's not good. Uh, knock or ring the bell. Well, there's a bell there, so I ring the bell. Nobody's answering. I'll invite myself in. That's not how that works. I have to check out the party. That's not how it works. You have to let yourself in. I saw a man once floating in the lake, just like this fisher. But she saw a dead body. God damn it, this game. Ah, oh, what a nice picture. I wish I had a picture like this with my mommy and daddy. Did they get away with putting a Deadpool shirt in this game? <gasps> the fuck? Hello? What is it, Miss Fortune? Nothing. Okay, so we just saw the ghost of that dead child. Are you sure this is... Where is the party? Hello? Oh, motherfucker. Excuse me, are you George? Are you the owner of a puppy? Because I bring really bad news. Oh no, wait. It looks like he hung himself. Hung himself? Like a piñata? Should I hit him like a piñata? No, Miss Fortune. He's dead. Dead? But he's wearing a pair of sweet boots. He, he can't be dead. Oh, okay. Hey, Miss Fortune, I think this party's over. Let's leave. I'll meet you in the back. George, you know, now that you're dead, your puppy is gone. I like the puppy. Bye. I love how that works. He's got sweet boots on. He's not dead. Also, thank you so much for the raid. Why can I not pronounce people's names? Thank you so much for the raid. I'm going to attempt it. I'm bad at this. Antan Kamola. Oops, I don't know. Thank you. I don't really know how to respond to raids. I, I, I'm really bad at responding to raids. I'm just like, I do really appreciate it. Trust me, I do. I just don't know how to react to them. Also, oh yeah, thank you for following. And you, Mike, as well, for following. It should have came up in chat, but it didn't. Oh, it did. It did. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm a little distracted by this cute, adorable dark game. Oh, what's this? <laughs> I guess it's not finished. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Why is that there? Dead guy penis. Um. <laughs> oh, oh, good. Okay. As by the rules of this game, I'm letting you lot choose. So do we fix the penis or do we leave the penis? Oh, I don't know what we do at the picture. We've got to choose. We fix the piece. <laughs> also, yes, I will throw glitter at the at dead George. I will. But there was a penis to fix. I've got, I've got to choose. All right, there's two votes to fix it. So, now nah, I leave the penis. That's two. <laughs> we need to do this because I don't want to keep saying the penis. Um, <laughs> there's two for fix, one for leave. So, that's fixing. Look, 
I brought your doggy back. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, see, that was actually cute. Because she brought the doggy back to George. Freaking birds. Thanks to them, I obviously came late to the party. Freaking birds. Thanks okay, to them, I too. obviously came late to the party. <laughs> I'm glad you're late to the party. We talk. We didn't need to see George kill himself. Shut up! Happiness to George the. Oh look, she gave him legs, so he's not dead. <laughs> Happiness to George the Pinata. <laughs> okay, I'm here now. Let's go into the woods and get that eternal happiness. Yes. What the fuck is this? Welcome to this game. This. You will be on a roller coaster of emotions. Um, and this is genuinely the first time on stream that I've genuinely felt emotional. Ah, oh, I love the woods with the trees and the birds and the animals. Dangerous animals, Miss Fortune. You might run into a fox. A fox? Like Benjamin? Yes. But all foxes are evil, so keep your eyes open. Oh, uh, all right. I love games like this. I love games that like cute and adorable, but also dark as fuck. So I love it. Uh, oh, it's this game. It's adorable, heartbreaking, weird, etc. So far, my face is just weird. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> also, every time she says Benjamin, my heart still melts. Again, I found this game on TikTok. Uh, from the artist, um, the actress who plays this character. Um, I was meant to have a shout out to her TikTok, really, but I forgot. Huh. What's this? A doll? Everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. Well, I do like jackdaws. Hero Doll 1. Everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. <laughs> Alright. Hmm, interesting. I'll keep it. Hey, what do you have there? Nothing. <laughs> Hide things from the evil voice. Hide. Oh, motherfucker, I want these things. Stay back, Miss Fortune. <gasps> what is it? A wild, dangerous fox. Wait, I recognize that black tail. It's Benjamin. It doesn't matter. Attack it before it kills you. Nah, I don't think Benjamin will kill me. <laughs> you love Benjamin. Hello, is your name Benjamin? Do you want to play with me? Oh no, don't go! Oh, oh. <sighs> What a relief. We are safe now. Let's keep playing my game. Okay. There's a magical cave nearby. You need to find it. A magical cave? Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, enjoy your lurking, uh, Felicia. Uh, don't, again, I'm bad at pronouncing names. Uh, Anton, need a dash, but have fun session. Fair enough, good night. Hope you have a good night. We all have to remember that uh, Benjamin comes from another dimension, as we saw from the intro. So. <gasps> It looks like Benjamin likes to paint. That's pretty cool. I like that in a fox. <laughs> Focus, Miss Fortune. We need to keep going. Oh, okay. Lisa. Lisa? People just end up hating me for the fact I can't see their names. Hey, we finished the painting. What oh, this is going to do? Okay, so Benjamin is painting protection spells. That's what Benjamin is doing. So anything better we see Benjamin do, we're gonna help him a bit. Ooh, police. Oh, my God. Can we not interact with the dip? No, it's not. Okay, just leave. Oh, is this the magical cave? It doesn't look that magical. 
Just wait until you go inside. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> I have a question. What does this sign mean? Oh, I don't know. Sparkle? Ah, cool. So, whenever you're ready. Just shorten it to fliss. Okay, well. Uh, do we have a cave or stay in the forest? Well, I think we've done everything we can in the forest. So I'm guessing we have to turn up the cave. I don't think there's anything else in the forest. We're in the magical cave! Um, oh, why are you humming? What are you humming, eh? I see you humming. I see you humming. I've got you a lot of energy and I don't know why. Yeah. I have to go to bed after doing this and I'm just sitting there going, I have all the energy in the world! Let's do stuff. Cave does not seem to. Okay, we won't go in the second cave. I'll just stay in the forest. But then you won't find the eternal happiness. Oh, okay. I think we have to join the okay. cave. <laughs> I think staying in the forest was just sort of like to explore everything, but I think we did that. But we can go back, like, just to make sure we didn't miss anything. But I'm pretty sure we did everything. I'm thinking, doing Benjamin's safety Why spell. are you going this way? Just curious. <laughs> oh, see, now we have to keep going this way. <laughs> no, 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 we have to. Because she... Uh, they started talking. Oh, nothing. <laughs> Game teased me. <laughs> Game was like, ah, I feel like she saved. But... Is there a way to get her inventory, I wonder? Okay, that's pause. Oh, we can save. Oh, we should probably save. Look how far we're in. Um, oh, it's not, nothing about controls. I just I wanted to see if you could get her inventory up because I wanted to like see what we have on us. I guess you can't. I almost read that thing, <laughs> my stream element thing that slags myself off. <laughs> oh god, we're already here an hour? I didn't even realise. Oh, we're going in the cave. Oh, I can't wait to see the magic inside. It's really nice of Anton to raid us. Like, I never feel like I'm worthy of a raid. That's why I react so poorly. This cave is huge. Echo. <laughs> well, let's explore the cave. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. There was no echo. It was me. You're a real comedian, Miss Fortune. Thank you. She is so adorable. Uh, yeah, Anton's cool. Yeah, he, he, cool. he was the one who was playing with you the other day, wasn't he? <gasps> what was that? What? Did I miss something? I'm not sure. That was a dog in a race car with flames on it. That's what that was. The warning. What's this? Oh, a hamster party? A magical <laughs> hamster party. I know you love parties. Do I? <laughs> Can we go inside? I don't know. Let's go find out. Oh, I don't want to go in there. She's a child. We cannot take her to a hamster strip club. We cannot take her. Yeah. I saw them playing CFEs. I was going to give them a watch, but I had to set this up. If they're still playing afterwards, I'll raid them. But I doubt it. I doubt they're still playing. We can't take the child to a hamster strip club. It's not ethically okay. Oh, hamster fight! Are you going to do something about it? End the violence between the hamsters. I want to intervene, but then I feel like she's gonna get stabbed. Last time we did something, a dog died. I'm gonna intervene. I'm vetoing, making it my choice. We're gonna intervene. Like you adorable things, you have to kiss and make up. <laughs> there you go. Oh, please, sweetie, don't go. You dropped something. Oh, are those means? Maybe I should try one so I can keep my breath fresh. I'm a little lady, you know. Oh, 
Oh shit, she took one without me being able to choose. Wow, I'm feeling really nice. No, 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 we have the child. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, this doesn't seem too bad. Oh no, wait. They're dead characters. They're all the dead people. Oh, this isn't good. Oh no. Hey, mission. This game is a game. Miss Fortune? I'm okay. Remember kids, if you're standing outside of a hamster strip club and one hamster tries to stab another one and then drops drugs, don't take them. Just a little bit of advice there. Wait, wait, we can look at the sign. X, X, X? <laughs> Talk about crazy! <gasps> what is this game? Cars. These tiny cutie cars are killing me with their cuteness. <laughs> so cute. You're so cute, little Miss Fortune. Excuse Fortune. me, who the little lady get inside? No, I'm not very important, you say? Okay. Can you believe this time, Mr. Voice? We have to find another way out now. I keep saying her name wrong, which is annoying. I'm the one doing it. So. Look at them. With their tiny cocktails and their tiny clothing. This is too cute for me. Them two are making it. <laughs> Ooh. What's this? Check that lady out. I think she's in trouble. Oh no. I think I recognize her. She's the owner of the club back there. Really? Yes. Looks like she was robbed. Oh, I bet it was that hamster with the black man. Yes, you're right. Looks like you helped the criminal escape. Oh, damn it. Does that mean I'm a criminal too? Of course it does. Oh, really? Please don't tell me. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you. We tried to stop him, not make him escape. Excuse me, do you need assistance? No? Okay. Oh, hey, rude. Miss Fortune, we need to find a way out now. The eternal happiness is still out there. Okay, I'll look around. That was rude. I'm getting attitude towards her. Grandma hamster. <laughs> I wonder what this button does. <laughs> Another bounce. Good job, Miss Fortune. You found the way out. <laughs> Thank you. I like the way she said fancy. Fancy. Uh, why am I going back, you may ask? Uh, because the hamster grandma went this way. So. Well, it might have changed things. I guess it did. How is everyone anyway? I haven't asked. Okay, we'll go back to the ladder. Yeah, I didn't ask. How's everyone? Hope you okay. Hope you're all okay. Doing well. I'm okay myself. I'm doing alright. I've had like a hectic week. But I'm doing alright. Uh, climb the ladder. Oh, mornings. Stop. With two pieces. Oh, is that a hole into reality? Oh, we haven't sparked anything in ages. Like... Squirrel speed. <laughs> ah, this looks just like a movie I saw on TV. These are the bad guys, I'm telling you. I think you're right. We need to clear the way before we can proceed. But how? You 
you see that fire alarm over there? We need to activate it. Yeah, but how? With a slingshot. What slingshot? This slingshot. Ah, that slingshot. <laughs> okay. He's giving us stuff in our castle. Ah, oh, look. I use these acorns as ammunition. That's really clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> I know, thank you. A with the mouse and shoot with the left mouse button. I'm guessing we can hit more than just this. Oopsie! That was close! Oh, so Almost there! Why are these hamsters like people size and the other hamsters are like? No consequences. Yikes forever. Yikes forever. Sniper. <laughs> Not a sniper. He kept missing. We did it! Well done, Miss Fortune. Yay! <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. Yeah, that guy doesn't seem to care about being hit with a rock. An acorn, but yes, he didn't seem to care. This looks like the science project Daddy has in the basement. I don't know why, but Mommy was really angry about it. Daddy's a drug dealer, and Mommy didn't like it. All the money. That's a lot of cash. Is this the eternal happiness? Oh no, what makes you think that? Mommy said that money is the only thing that makes her happy. Well, your mommy is wrong. Oh really? Okay. Oh. But at least all oh, his chocolate are glittering. <laughs> I glittered the drugs. <laughs> Climb the ladder. This game's given me so many things to say in real life. Like yikes forever and fancy. Hey, you, on the other side of the screen, listen. Yeah. I know it must be hard not knowing much about our little lady's future. Will misfortune really die? If so, how will she die? And when? Will the evil fox kill her? Will she find the eternal happiness? I personally hope she does. <clears throat> Act normal. She's coming. I personally think you're the one who's gonna kill her. <laughs> oh, Miss Fortune, you made it. Congratulations. Thank you. Where are we? We're one step closer to the grand prize of eternal happiness. Right, because I'm not allowed to be outside this lake, you know. Don't worry, it's not far from here. Great. <laughs> Look, a missing kid. <laughs> sorry about the ones. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Cool, one, one, two. I don't like this. Maybe I should go back home. Besides, I didn't tell mommy I went outside. Bye! Don't go now, Miss Fortune. I can protect you. Really? Yes. Alright then. <laughs> Ooh, she almost went home. So I wonder if we told mommy she wouldn't. Oh, fuck's sake, another ghost. <laughs> can we have nice things for little Miss Fortune? I don't want. Ugh, smell 
smells like bull crap. Miss Fortune, watch your language. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think mommy would know if she's missing if we did not tell her. Yeah, true. True. Uh, Uni's like, go get it. <laughs> Very clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> At Kill Monday Game. The makers of this game. Phantasmagoria is coming to open fields? That's so awesome! Maybe we could find time to check it out later. Who knows? Right. Don't play with my feelings now. Let's focus on finding the eternal happiness first. Then we'll see. Alright, I can't wait. <laughs> I hope we go there. I love horror things. <sighs> Look, Benjamin. it's Benjamin from the Hoots in the Woods. <laughs> you know? If you ever want to hang out or something, I'm available. Don't engage with that wild fox. I told you, foxes are dangerous. Let me handle this. Benji, are you a wild, dangerous fox? <gasps> no, Benji, don't go! Let that wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad happening to you. All right. Ah, oh, this is Benji's stuff. This is absolutely the best art I have ever seen. It's so personal. I didn't know Benjamin was so creative. Creative? That looks like a child has drawn it. What did you just say? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Huh. Hey, shouldn't we be focusing on finding the prize? I'm focused. I look like this thing we saw in the evil demon dimension. I feel like that's the narrator. Also, Hydra Child is... this is... Benjamin's the good guy. Sit down, like... you fuck! Misfortune! What? Language! <laughs> oh, she's a girl. She's a tall girl. Mr. Voice? Yes, Miss Fortune? Has anyone reached the end of the game and gotten the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. They lived happily ever after. That sounds nice. You know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. I wish I could give her some happiness. My sparkle doesn't work with her. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Would you like to try my sparkle? That's not necessary. Ha, <laughs> don't be silly. Here you go. Happiness to Mr. Boys! Oh, well. Thank you. Anyway, let's go find the prize and make mommy proud. Yes. Okay, uh, that made me cough. Uh, well, the car. Um, I think the face, the masks are commentary on the fact that people, when they go out or they hang out with people, they always put up a mask and don't show their, show their true self. That's why some of the masks are smiling, some are sad and stuff like that. Um, the dead birds, I feel like that demon dimension, because last time we went there, a bird died. Don't know. Uh, her swearing. Yeah, her swearing is adorable. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, he was drinking at the time. <laughs> I would probably have spat out a drink as well. Because it was out of the blue as well. It says, don't feed the birds. Ah, okay. There's a lot of sweet poetry written on the bench. Death is alive and it's eating from you. Sign M. Mm, interesting. What do you think? <clears throat> Miss Fortune, do you really need to read those poems? Yes, we do. Yeah, listen to this one. Balls hanging too low. No signature. Where are they hanging from? Oh look, a drawing of a cat. Come on, Miss Fortune, let's go. All right. 
<gasps> I wonder what the drawing room was really of. Look at the seagull. It looks like Kevin's dad. Who's that? He used to sit in the sandbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on, and the police officer beat him with a stick. Too bad you don't have any fish to offer the seagull. They love fish, you know. Are you trying to make me feel guilty about the fish from earlier? I made a hard decision back there, and I stand behind it. I understand, Miss Fortune. I'm just saying. Well, stop saying. Well, what did we do with the last unfinished drawing? We fixed it. But this one we can't fix. <laughs> I would say I do like that the game is dropping us little hints about like where our decisions would have changed like when we came out of the sewers and she said I should go home because we didn't tell mummy so obviously if you tell mummy when she gets out of the sewers she says something else but like if we had the fish now instead of dropping it in the lake we could have given it to the seagull I like this uh, it's probably it's probably the the other thing to go along with the um oh you got to it before I could. Thank you. You're so awesome. <laughs> Would you like to ride the royal horse of the park? Oh, do we ride the horsey? I'll let you choose because you dealt with the mean bot. You can choose. Do we ride the royal horse or not? Yes. Okay. Royal horse, you say? I'm a little princess, you know. <laughs> Look at me. I'm on the horse. I horsey. Stop it. Oi. Oh. Ah, oh, that was unfortunate. Are you all right? I'm okay. Are you worried because I'm such a little lady? Of course. You are really tiny and you could break. I broke my arm once. So you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Oh. So that's twice you've made a decision that's made her fall flat on her face and hurt herself again. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> what happens if we look at it again? No, we don't like it. We're gonna save the game again, by the way, just in case. <laughs> Don't feel bad. <laughs> Don't feel bad. Check out that bag. Let's just go, Miss Fortune. You don't want to get involved with ducks. <laughs> Don't be silly. Ducks are pretty cool. And look, he's carrying a boombox. This could be my opportunity to finally dance for reals. Would you like to show me some of your dance moves? Uh, show us your dance moves. Show your dance moves skills or let the duck dance. Huh. Huh. Hmm. I actually don't know. I don't get. He's smoking drug. I don't he? Dance off with the duck to so show my dance skills. Okay. Of course. Check this out. About. That was normal. Oh, if you say so. <laughs> we haven't got to sparkle anything in a while. Like, there's been no sparkles to sparkle anything in a while. I don't know what that is. Would you like to write this one? It's like a tornado. Yeah, sure, we'll ride the twister. Sure, I'm gonna hurt herself again. Yes, I want to ride. Mm. Michael, stop! Ah, I can't hold it anymore! <laughs> oh no, misfortune. <laughs> oh no. Look, another hero dog. Oh, I'll let her read it. When the trees are naked, 
when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. I just realized mm. I said hey, dog. Apple pie. What are you talking about, Miss Fortune? Nothing. See, now I want apple pie. That's not fair. Hi, to your children. Okay, that one's creepy. I'll give you that kitten. That, that one was creepy. This looks like the art of Benjamin, don't you think? I think it's garbage, and it should be erased with fire. Really? I see great potential here. He's obviously very artistic. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. The prize is closer than you think. <laughs> really? All right. How short is this game? Uh, I can almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly my thoughts. I'm glad you feel the same way. <laughs> pet cemetery, like the movie. So, I was thinking while we're walking, mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure, I'm pretty good at answering questions. Great, just answer as honestly as you can. All right. First question, have you ever stolen anything? So, I guess I have to answer these questions honestly. So, I'm going to answer them honestly, and anyone watching is not allowed to judge me. I stole my friend's Swiss army knife once. I felt so bad, I buried it in the yard and never told him. Oh, I'm so sorry for the both of you. Hmm. Second question, are you happy right now? I'm in a good mood. I don't know if I'd say I was happy. Then again, I rarely experience true happiness due to overthinking everything. And I think now I'm probably overthinking this answer. But I'm in a good mood, so I'm going to say yes. Yes, I mean nothing bad is happening right now. That makes me happy. Well then, the last question. Do you feel loved? I mean, by my godson, yes. By anyone else, probably not. But I guess that's one yes, so... I'm pretty sure mommy loves me because she hasn't left me. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived at the pet cemetery. I also may have answered those a bit too honestly. Um, <laughs> but oh well. Oh, look. This one's new. Oh, shake this out. More kids are missing. If I go missing, how will I tell mommy? You won't go missing. We'll go back home right after we find the prize. Ah, okay, nice. Ready to find the prize of eternal happiness. Yes, where is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is buried. The goldfish, all right. Must I dig with my tiny hands? Yikes forever. No, use the shovel. What shovel? This shovel. Oh, fuck ah, that shovel. Okay. Oh yeah, cause the, the the boy is sending us shovels from hell. Not a bad sign. This one says, Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. <laughs> Nah, 
Okay, so I know I've got like 40 minutes left, but I am knackered and I don't really want to start this section and then end it midway. So I'm going to save and I'm going to go to bed and next time we will finish Little Miss Watch. I would like... Okay, one second, let me save and get to the bench before I start doing my thing. Please. <laughs> Thanks forever. Um, I would like to first and foremost thank uh, Kitten for showing up at the beginning and being here the whole time. You are awesome, you are always awesome and thank you for um, giving your input on the choices in the game and banning that bot because you're an awesome bot. I'd also like to thank uh, Annabelle for showing up. I haven't seen or talked to you in a ages Annabelle. So awesome that you showed up. I'm so grateful and thankful and I'm um, I hope our chat was helpful towards you, and I hope things get better. Uh, I also like to thank Anton for the raid. Thank you so much. I know I didn't really react well to it at first. I'm bad at reacting to them, but I do appreciate it. I promise. Also, thank you to Anton and Mike uh, for following me. You're awesomes, and you are now little biscuits. I would also like to thank. Right, let me get your name right. Fisha, Felicia, Bliss. I'd like to thank you for popping in and chatting and giving your input on the choices as well. And lastly, I would like to thank Auto Machine for showing up, popping in, and giving input. I'm really enjoying this game. It's so cute, it's adorable, but it's also dark and creepy. I love it. It's genuinely got my heart like feeling things and aching and in pain at times and I got emotional and like teary. I don't care, I'll be honest, this game is genuinely affecting me in like awesome ways and it's amazing. And I really do appreciate people who've been giving their input in the choices of the game because you know, I think it makes it more fun. Um I don't know how many of us are still here, but I don't know if I'm going to raid anyone or not. Uh, six. That's a good raid number, but the only people in my raid list are like big streamers with over a thousand people. So I don't really want to. I know that might sound a bit weird, but I, I would only really want to raid like people I actually watch or smaller streamers because they need more love. And I also prefer them. I prefer smaller streamers, like because it feels more like a good, tight knit community. So yeah. Oh, you know someone who can type sims. They can type sims, and we can raise sims. That'll be actually a great way to end it, because I'm always bad at ending these. Well, you was watching them earlier, and I tried to join you, and it said that their the channel no longer existed and they are in the past but i can see them now uh, they are doing a rave horror okay i need to just raid them now just to know what that is so we're gonna go raid them uh everyone give them your love and support and your attention and always remember after raiding delete go up to the top bar and delete the slash raid bit so you actually count as a viewer give them your views and love We'll go raid them. So, bye. Peace. See you all. Little biscuit. Shut in the biscuit tin. Boom.